well. Let's see if I've got it right this time. Last time I had a rather long head, but I've changed the camera settings and hopefully I've got a round head again. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. That's okay. So I better put my little microphone on. Oh, I can hear an echo in the other room. I'll shut the door in the other room. Okay. Now, little microphone. It's dragging through all the paint, but it doesn't matter. Hello. It should work. What are we going to paint today? Mm, I might paint those boats. We'll see what we do. We'll make it up as we go along. Okay, up, up here on my palette. I'm going to fix that bit, haven't I? On the palette, there's some. I bought some cobalt blue today. I like the cobalt blue and some crimson. Where's the crimson? Oh, there'd be a lot of it yesterday. Here it is. I can still hear that voice from next door, but we'll put up with it. In the next one, I'm sure I'll work out some way of fixing it. That, that. We want a yellow. We'll have raw sienna. Raw sienna. And I've, then I need lots of white. And raw sienna doesn't want to come out of the tube. Come on, raw sienna. Be good. There it is. Uh, locked up. Come out of the tube now, take the lid off. There. There's a lot more than we want. I might put some bright red up there because you never know, we might get into painting those boats. Some, some of the students have been having a problem with the boats here. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll use that. That's a bright red. Okay, I need a good brush to get the paint on quickly and of course we need white paint, lots of white. Put the white there. Put a bit of white up on the board. Pick up the white. Bring it down just a little bit. And there's the white across the sky. That's on the coat for the sky. Now if we're gonna yeah we'll paint the boats. Okay. Across the middle. Then your white. So it's given me a white undercoat underneath there. I'll bring it this way to make it nice and smooth. And clean the brush down the bottom. That's going to be water, so horizontal brush strokes for water. We go around the outside with a cobalt blue. In the middle, down the side a bit. And across here, I might as well come across the bottom while I'm at it. Clean the brush along the bottom, horizontal brush strokes. Horizontal brush strokes, because there's going to be water get up the sky, we're going to have clouds, I suppose, or something like that. Now, more blue in this corner. And come down here and same here. Okay, so we've got about the same thing. You've got to come in a little bit there, because when you put a frame on a painting, it, it brings it in so... Don't have such a skinny edge on your painting. And we'll go right around with that with crimson brush it in. It's a pretty colour right around the ins outside. Uh, Crisscross it across the top. And long brush strokes at the bottom end. Clean the brush. With a red thing, you know. Mm. Uh, wasn't intended. Okay, and now this is raw sienna. I've got a bit too much on the brush here, so I'll put a bit on then I'll clean the brush. That's a bit too much. I'll need a lot of white in the middle, I know, because it's, I'm going to lose my white in the middle, I think. Now, I've lost my white in the middle. I, I, I need it white, so I'll go back now and touch it up. Okay. Well, let's do this for a minute. We'll just do that and see what happens. It's all right. Oh, not too much. Yeah. Okay. I need that white in the middle. So I put a, little, a bit more white up on my palette. Then a bit of sticky tape up there. Clean the brush. 
and I want that white right down into the water and up here in the sky we could have some clouds or something just something in the sky just I don't know what it is I don't know but I do want it white there always on most paintings I want a white area about there I've got a lot of paint on that that's okay and I'll clean the brush and because this is going to be water I'll bring it across like that and then I'll grab another brush which is clean and soft bought a brand new brush today 40 baht that's less than two dollars Australian that's going to be water and again I do want it white in the middle to attract your eye to the middle of the painting clean the brush take that dag off there So that's our undercoat for the water in the sky. It'll do. Now, with one of my brand new brushes I bought today, where are they? Here's one, look at that, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So let's have the, this one around here now. I don't know what you were getting on that, were you seeing my brushes? Yeah. Okay, you can see my head now. Goody. Right. Bedford. Belford. Hello, mate. I think it's a guy. Sorry. Belford. Uh, now, we do need a very soft colour. I'm going to paint some buildings in the background here. And the paler I can make them, then the further away they look and because it's a background the buildings need, need to be a bluey tone if you put a red tone in the background it becomes forward so we'll use these blues here we'll try them but I do need a straight line I've got a old Chinese trick here that should give me a straight line about there Something like that, I can see that. Okay, so the buildings go there, there. It's all right, if you can't see them, we know they're there. There, I've just put a few in and then I'll change the brush to a different size. I've got one that's a bit bigger. And then, well, the buildings come down in the water, don't they? Yeah, of course. Not too detailed. Blue, blue and white. I could have mixed this properly, this colour, and make it even, but it doesn't matter. We're just seeing buildings in the background, and that's all. There Only just. And of course it's water. Oh, they faded out a bit too much, but that doesn't matter. Okay. Now we're going to paint some boats in there, but before we do, I'll find my knife and put some white ripples on the water. So to load the knife, put some white there. Now, here's a lesson on loading the knife. This is what you do. There's your knife. Nice and clean and you spread your paint softly like that clean your knife just put your knife in there and have a practice that's not too bad but that's got blue in it there that's that's a good one okay I can put one there and I know the next one should come off of my painting and should be quite a good white line there I got four white lines out of that so load your knife touch it on the palette make sure it's okay and you get a few white lines, maybe one or two. I've got one then. And the knife. I know it's going to work good here. So put some white lines there. The idea is to put your white lines on first. 
Now I'm going to paint in the boats. Well, before I do, I better put a little bit of a shoreline there so you can see where the shoreline is. So I've got a blue that's slightly darker than the background here. And I'll try and get it on the painting perfectly level. And that'll give us what might be the horizon line. That's the horizon line there. Yeah. This isn't, now if I was going to do this painting very well, I'd probably take three times longer. But I want to show you how to do it because some of the students have been having a problem with this. Okay, clean brush. I'll put in a boat, pick up some blue and crimson, mix the colours together. We had some, some dark colours. This is a blue boat, so we'll go for the blue crimson. I don't know what that red's doing there. I was going to use it. I'll use it later. Okay, boat, not dead centre. Let's put the biggest boat here. Now, in the reflection, the biggest boat there. Well, that's about the right size. I'll tell you why. If you were standing on the boat, your eye would be level with the eye of anybody on there because the water's flat. So if you put your boat down here, it means that you're looking down on the boat because you can see the water behind it. But I want to look straight at there as if I'm standing on the shore on this side, looking across there at those buildings, and there is the boat. So anybody standing on a boat in that water will have their eye level exactly level with my eye level. All the water's level, all the eye levels are level because all the boats are level, and it's level with the bank on the other side. So if you put your boat down here, it's got to be a huge boat, to put a person on so high that their eye is there. So let's have that boat about that size. And if it was a little boat, say that size, you'd have to be back there. And if it was a little boat, a little tiny weenie boat, it'd have to be up there. So the person's eye is level there. Anyway, let's put that boat there. Another one here. That person would be about that tall, and the boat's about that wide, so that's about right. Now that's enough at the moment. I'll tidy these reflections up. And we'll have a red boat and a blue boat. So one boat is a nice blue. That's this boat. He's blue. And one boat is red. That's this guy. That's a red boat. There. And this one, the middle one, is a yellow boat. Not that it matters, but I'm just having a play around with it. And I'll get a little brush from somewhere. Here's a little brush. And just put in some little boats in the background. Let's have little boats here. Little one there. Little one there. And a couple over here just to balance it. Now we need to put in the mass for the boat. Again, we load the brush, the knife, the same way. We make a little pile of paint, pick it up on the edge, see if it works. Oh, that's not too bad, that'll do. Now, this boat, you're looking straight at it, it's about that wide, so the mast would be about three times higher than the boat. One, the mast goes up about there, I'd say. Okay, let's try, oh, and it goes down in the water, of course. Now the red boat. I'll put a red mast on him. That goes about there and down about there. This is where you can check what's going on. They come to this point here. They come to there, about there. And the boats come to about there. So that's pretty good. As far as perspective goes, they must go down to meet here because the little tiny boat in the background there, he also has to be in perspective. There's his mast. There and there. Yes. And this one here, mast on this one, has to be in perspective. There's the bottom, runs up to there. So the mast has to be on that line from there to there, which is about there. Pretty good. Pretty close. Okay, now we'll tidy it up and make it look nice. I've laid it out 
we'll put a few wires on the bus. A few wires there. Ooh, that's not very neat. Now, pick the paint up properly and put the wires on the back. There, there, here, 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 here. Put a mast on that boat. There, mast on that one, mast on that little one back there. That little bit one's too small to be there, so we're going to make it up higher and I'll make the boat bigger. I'll fix that with the brush in a minute. This one also, about there and there. That one has to be bigger. Uh, no, it's nearly right. Okay, I'll find a little tidy brush, tidy it up with. There's a, there's a brush that might do. And we'll tidy these boats up. Now a little tiny one over here, he was too small. A bit big now, it doesn't matter. Clean the brush and pull it down in the water for reflections. Reflections, reflection. That's a bit of a scruffy reflection. We're gonna have a lot of ripples there. There. And clean the brush. Now, brush the reflections over to make it look like water a bit more. And now to fix those reflections, I'll take the brush again and I'll put my white paint here so I can get a, a good clean go at it. There's plenty of white paint on the edge of the knife and there. And because we've got such a messy reflection here, we're going to have some sort of a ripple in the water. So maybe a speedboat just went past yesterday. Okay looking better. Now uh, that's the attractive bit there because it's white but I want it attractive in the middle so we're going to have to put some white somewhere here that's gone blue it's not what I want it's not what I want paint there it is mm. and to balance it I think we need a bit more white here well let's have some Flags on the boat, it must be a celebration time. All the flags fly in the same way. We have a line on that one, not much. Just a little bit. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. And something we always should have here is some seagulls. Oh, there's a brand new brush. Good grief. It's a bit stiff. Yeah. You see me on that other? Yeah, you can see me. Good. Load the knife, the brush, dark and light, and I'll get it rather chisel. It's rather a chisel shape, and that should give me a pretty good seagull. Where is he? Okay, he's going to be flying out of the picture, so I'll put him here. There. And a couple here. Get rid of that, whatever it is. And that'll do, that's a, a quick little painting. I wanted to show you this business about the height. Can you understand now? Put it up exactly. That's my eye level, there's my eye level. And I'm painting the scene at that eye level. Therefore, everyone on the boat must be, if they were standing up, there's their eye on all the boats. You can't have one boat up, one boat down. The water's absolutely dead flat. Paint any sky you wish. Keep it white in the middle. Gee, that's rather noisy, that thing next door. And it is, yeah. Um, house buildings right back there. I'll sign it now. Here we are. Done. Let's take the mask and tape off and see if it looks good. It always looks good on camera, but from where I am it looks really rough. 
good grief, that's good marking tape, it won't come off. Got him. Ooh. There we go. I'm in the middle so you can see it. Now get you in to have a closer look. See, it's pretty rough, but that doesn't matter. You have a look at the distance. Yep. Coming close. Yeah. Little bits and pieces. There's the boats. Plenty of paint on there. And it's an ornament. It's not a perspective drawing of boats. It's just an ornament. But it does need to be in perspective. Because if it's not, it becomes annoying when it's hanging on the wall. And after a few years you think there's something wrong with that. And you realise, well, the boats are under the water. Well guys, I'll see you later and I'll get rid of that noise in the background in a minute. Thank you. Bye.